the president of the Oregon chapter of alumni. I have on today for Ask the Alumni, I've got another executive council member for the Oregon chapter. I've got Nita Goss. Hello, Nita. How are you today? Hello. I'm doing very well. Good. Glad to have you on with me today. Thanks for being on. Uh, I would tell you it's really late where we are, but actually you won't know because this is going to run whenever I run it. <laughs> so thanks for being on with me. And I, I think, you know, it's good to have you on as a member at large, right? So you're a member at large. Do, do you know yes. what your job is as a member at large? It's probably to represent the other members. <laughs> That's good. Good answer. I don't know. My presidency, I'm like, oh, wonderful. You know, you're right. As a member at large, you're that's your job really just like my job is to represent like the chapter as best i can to make sure things are taken care of need us here to make sure if you guys think of anything you need anything and we're happy to miss anything on the issue like your liaison to the executive leadership council well, i mean that's not you can't get a hold of all of us but she's always there and who knows maybe like when i step down she might be the next president who knows it's like another funnel into executive leadership Try to make sure that there's always a consistent uh, flow of leadership. I, I try to make sure, if anything. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you from Oregon originally? No. Um, I actually grew up all over the Midwest. Um, oh, are you? Okay. I, I cannot understand people who were born in one place and never, ever move. <laughs> it's a foreign concept to yeah, me. Because me my, my, <laughs> my dad was a uh, social worker for the Bureau of Indian Affairs, so we lived on a lot of Indian reservations. Okay. all over um from arizona up to north dakota and everywhere in between so yeah okay no nomad nomadic <laughs> nomadic so um where were you born where are you native of i was born in del mar colorado okay denver native me too well colorado native i guess i should say not denver. yeah colorado yeah. native i was born in yeah. denver myself so Spent some time in the Midwest. I, I was living in Minnesota. I went to school in, Wis in uh, Wisconsin for a year. And I agree. You know, I, I spent time in uh, the military for a little while. And uh, when I first went in on um, basic, I knew right away I wanted to go overseas. Because it just made no sense to get orders to be in the military and stay home. Yeah. Now, of course, there was no armed conflict going on right then and there. So yes. it was okay. Right. Um, yeah. So I timed it pretty well. And I had to go overseas. I did like a five-way trade in orders to go to Germany. And uh, so I did my whole tour over there. I just, I kept trying to come home. That was kind of funny. Every, every time I got orders to come home, my orders were in this order. F.E. Warren, um, uh, Minot, well, uh, Minot, no, no, F.E. Warren, Ellsworth, and Minot. Cool. Those were oh, We lived in Minot for a while. Did my you? daughter was born in Minot. Okay. Yeah. Those were always my yeah. choices. And uh, if you folks aren't familiar with those, we call those Northern Tier bases. <laughs> I was a cop, so that meant that I spent all my time outside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wasn't looking forward to not that. Not in my not. <laughs> yeah. Like we say, why not, why not? Three zones the reason. So I didn't, wasn't thinking about it. So, did, you um, ever, did you ever have cheese, Frenchies in my not? See what? Did you ever have cheese, Frenchies? No, I never went there. So what is that? It, well, the restaurant was called Kings something Kings. Okay. Um, but cheese Frenchies are basically grilled cheese sandwiches cut in triangles, rolled in like cornflakes or something, and deep fried. Oh, to die for! Oh my goodness! That's yeah. Cool. Like they have in in, in uh, Minnesota, they have deep fried cheese. I remember that. I remember that like it was cheese curds. Yeah, cheese curds. That's oh right. yes, oh yes. That's right. That was huge when I was there. Um, yeah, I was there for about six years working in television, so I had a good time out there too. So there in Wisconsin, especially Wisconsin, there Wisconsin cheese is the best. Oh yeah, yeah. I was there in Wisconsin my first year of college. I went to Beloit College, and yeah, they love their cheese, no doubt. So, uh, what year did you go? What year did you go to uh, Phoenix? So. Um, I, I uh, right out of high school, I went to Arizona Western College okay. for two years. Um, I did not complete because the first three semesters were in nursing. The last semester was in accounting. Okay. Wow. And um, 
Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I got pregnant, so I took about three years off. Then I, then I was in. Um, I lived in um, a little town called Paola, Kansas, mm -hmm. and I did. I went back to when my daughter became when she went started first grade. I went to night school at Fort Scott Community College. They had a local program in Paola, so. Mm -hmm. um, I just got my AA in general studies. I was I was getting really interested in computers. By that time, computers were becoming. They were they were starting to get away from mainframes and starting the, with the great big floppy disks and the um, starting. They they were still very very expensive, so really only the well to do people really had them at oh, home. Oh yeah, but, yeah. You're about you're probably, old, you're probably as old as me. That's what I remember when they first came out. Not everybody had one. You had to like yes. put a lot of money on a computer. Yes. Back in the day. Mm hmm. Yeah. So um, but I was really interested in learning how to program computers. So, um, I got my general studies in my AA in general studies then, um after some moving around the country, we, we went to Minnesota or Wisconsin. And um, I went to the University of, of Wisconsin, Madison, but I was working graveyards and going to school during the day and it was not working well. So I only did one semester there. And then um, we moved, from there I moved to Salt Lake City and I decided to go back to school. So I went to, um, Salt Lake Community College, and I got an AA degree in computer programming. Okay. Um, and then, and and at that time, I was I was really ill, so I wasn't working. Um, but then I finally got a job and put life on hold for a while. And then I was like, you know what? I've got two AAs. I need to just go on and get my bachelor's. And then about this time, they're advertising. It was around December, so around Christmas time. They were announcing um, University of Phoenix, you know, mm -hmm. and I was like, hmm, maybe that would be worth it. So maybe I'll check into that. So I did. And I was like, I, I didn't want I wasn't going to enroll. I was going to ask my questions and, you know, like, make sure that um, legit and all that. Right. Do your diligence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Make sure I, I would get credit for that. Most of my credits would transfer, you know, because you don't want to start with zero. Right. <laughs> Yeah, my, so, my, my ex-wife did one of those uh, look up these universities and they, uh, I don't remember, this is my first, my first ex-wife. She uh, found this place online and uh, they told her if she put together all her work experience and all these different things, they could generate credits and give her a degree. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that makes sense. And so she did all this stuff and she got this really nifty degree in the mail. We paid like four or $5,000 for it. And it was, it was so worth absolutely nothing. Yeah. It wasn't recognized anywhere at all. So yeah, I'm glad you did your diligence because she didn't do hers. <laughs> yeah, they they were um, doing. If you brought food, they were you didn't have to pay your um, what what do they call it when you apply your application fee or whatever. Yeah. Uh huh. So yeah. So so anyway, I got I got enrolled, even though I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> and okay. then, um, sorry, my sister was trying to call. That's okay. Um, so about a year and a half or two years, I, it wasn't, it wasn't real. Yeah, I was probably closer to a year and a half. I got my bachelor's in business management. So I got a BSBM, which is about, you know, <laughs> about what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so I always laugh at that BSBM. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny because my old business was USBS cloud, cloud solutions. So I'm like, <laughs> what is it? stand for marty uh uncommon sense business solutions but you can think about it however you want yeah <laughs> well what i didn't like about the business part was um the marketing part there is so much room for unethical behavior yes there is and i was and i don't you know i was like no this isn't for me yeah. So I got I got that um that bachelor's degree. And then in the meantime, well, was actually as soon as I graduated, as soon as I got I I didn't walk, but as soon as I got my bachelor's, I moved here to Portland. Okay. And I actually lived in West Slope at the time. It was it's unincorporated Washington County. 
And um, I, I got a job with the state like within a week. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay, but I had flown. I had flown up here several times and put applications in and done interviews and you know, so um, I got the job offer within a week of moving here. Okay. So after a couple of years, I I always knew. I mean, my whole life I wanted to be a school teacher. I was the kid that brought home the mimeographed sheets, and tried to force my all my friends and family to play school with me. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, so I'm everybody's kidding. out playing cowboys and Indians, playing <laughs> doctor, playing yep. cops and robbers. It is like, hey, I know you just got out of school, but hey, you know what? Let's go play school. <laughs> exactly. I was the teacher, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I just, I love those mimeograph papers. They, uh, the, the smell, the ink smelled so good, you know, and. Yeah, I just had fun with it, but yeah, not man. not many other people. <laughs> yeah, I must just say, I, I can't think of one friend I had growing up that wanted to go play school. We're like, yeah. get us the heck out of here. <laughs> yeah, but then, um, so then I, 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 but I was like, oh, you know, University of Phoenix, they don't offer that, but they were offering free books if you came back to get your master's, and I was like, well, if I'm if I'm ever gonna do, it, I should do it now. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they do a master's in education. So I called them up and guess what? They did. <laughs> it was, um, they had a totally online program and then they had, well, actually they didn't. They had a, a, a program that was, that like the first and last class was in, in person, but the middle classes were online or totally in, in person. Well, <laughs> you know i'm older and so i wanted the in person i had to end up yeah i had to end up doing the the schizophrenic classes mm -hmm. but um i i was do i was okay by then doing those um and then um i graduated from there and i i technically completed my classes in 2011 but I walked in 2012 and um, cause I masters, that was a big deal, you know? So I did walk for that. Um, but some things had happened during my student teaching that mm -hmm. they had two, they had two, two um, tracks for, for education. Well, I mean, they had the straight, you know, you're going to be a classroom teacher kind, but they also had one that's, that was uh, specialized, you could specialize in um, educational studies, which is how do people learn? And then with that, you can either teach in community colleges or, um, you know, more, more like maybe working in um, publi publishing um, school books and stuff like that, you know? Well, actually, I ended up keeping my job at the state, and then um, my great niece and nephew were taken by the state of New Mexico, and I tried to get them to send them up here so I could keep working, but they didn't have time to do a home study in, before they would have to um, have to take actual custody of them. So I had to end up quitting my job and moving to New Mexico. Oh, so wow. I, I fostered to adoption them. Okay. And then as soon as we could, we worked our way back up here. I We went to Las Vegas, New Mexico first, because we started in Albuquerque. Okay. Uh, we went to Las Vegas, New Mexico, then Ontario, and finally got back here. That's so. quite the journey. You are like kind of like, you're kind of like a gypsy. <laughs> yep. Uh, my mom always joked that. <laughs> going back in the 80s, been around the world. You, you, you've kind of been mm -hmm. around the States. So. <laughs> and I guess Phoenix has followed you around. I mean, I guess that's the flexibility of Phoenix, right? You can kind of yeah. take, take it with you, right? I got to, I got to go to the, uh, an alumni meeting in Albuquerque, and they did it during the uh, Balloon Festival. Right. So I got to go to the Balloon Festival out in person, and, you know, it was a night night thing, and got to watch the the night balloons you know take off it was it was really cool that's awesome 
Yeah, I, I think, you know, what you just described is what I try to tell people in our group. And you hear me bring it up a lot whenever I post. And I, I try, try to say this since I came on board is um, at the time back in 2003 is what I saw Phoenix as. And it's even doing more of this now. Is, it's what you make of it. Mm -hmm. you know, literally, uh, you didn't plan on signing up. It just happened to work out that way. And uh, years later, it's been a facilitator for you. It's been kind of there for you. It's what you've been mm -hmm. I actually kind of tripped into it again because I, I knew I was working for the scholarship through the government that I was trying to get in to work with, with veterans to help with mental health care and all that stuff in the VAs. And I was actually looking at the Oregon State program because I knew they had a great program. It was up in Bend. And I'm like, great, let me get out of Eugene. That, that would be fantastic. You know, my second ex is here. So I would love to get out of this town. And I was putting out phone calls, putting out phone calls. And I guess I had called the University of Phoenix. I don't, didn't really remember, but I got a call and I started talking to them. I thought they were University of Oregon. So I'm talking to them about this and I'm going back and forth. And she's like, you know, this University of Phoenix, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> I said, uh, well, by the way, do, do you have this program? She goes, yeah, we have this program. So we started talking and they had the exact program that I needed. So I just jumped right in, which is it's so much more flexible for me that way. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I would, I hate wasting time. I don't want to say wasting time in class. It, 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 there's a lot of good stuff that you can get in a classroom environment, but there's a lot more for my schedule that I learned right after the military when I, um, cause I was doing uh, university of uh, Maryland in the military and then that was all online. Sometimes it was in, in person. And then when I went, got out, University of Colorado was doing what they called winter. Up. So they were having this, like, in between the uh, regular semesters, you could do classes online. So you can graduate early. And I was like, I, my ADD brain was picking on that real, real quick. And then I saw University of Phoenix pop up for my master's. I'm like, that's totally my speed. Let me go. And I, so for me, this is perfect like my ADD and everything helps me kind of plug in and get out and plug in and get out so if I sit in the classroom my ADD takes over and I'm like okay I don't want to listen to this lecture and I said <laughs> hey I, I was going through classes today and looking at the assignment that was down and I'm like you know I don't want to write that right now I don't want to engage in that right now which was great because by the time I sat down with you like an hour before I'm like I know exactly how I want to approach that versus being in class saying something that I didn't want to say just because I wanted to participate and go, well, that sounded pretty stupid. What I wanted to say was, <laughs> I get that, you know, that participation credit, the way I wanted to participate. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know we've got, uh, I don't want to keep you up too long. I appreciate you being on with me. And I think uh, I'm looking forward to getting to know you more. I, I was telling everybody before, you, before we go, like, we uh, need a hazard phone. I was cracking on it because if, if you, some of you remember, some of you don't, it's like uh, home improvement. And she was like, she's like, Wilson, like just barely over the fence. Uh, so I, <laughs> yeah. But um, I do appreciate you being on with me. Um, are you coming? You're coming up for the uh, alumni event, right? Uh, yeah. You're bringing, you're bringing family, right? Bringing kids. Yep. Mm -hmm. Super duper. So I will see you on the 26th at the pizza place. I got all the supplies. Luckily, I opened up the box with the banner because the banner still said Portland. So uh, they're sending me an Oregon, Oregon banner. And uh, so hopefully we'll have everything in place by then. So looking forward to seeing you in person. Oh, Portland alumni. Yeah. That's, yeah. That was the old chapter name that I wanted to eradicate when I got here. I said, cause we're Oregon. We're not just Portland. We're the whole dang state. So. Yeah. I was, I was um, on the committee. Oh, before I went to New Mexico. Okay. Well, definitely glad to have you involved. I appreciate you stepping up. Uh, this has been a whirlwind. It was weird because I asked about it and they said, hey, you want to be president? I'm like, oh, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so I've no, been, I was just I've, asking. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I've been here for like almost uh, 10, 12, 13 years at that point. It's been 14 now. And I'm like, no, actually it was, it was last year. <laughs> I asked the question and I just hadn't seen any activity. So I asked Chris yeah. uh, Sol Solaro, I'm like, so what's up with the Oregon chapter? Is there a one? He said, you want to be president? I'm like, uh, okay. Okay. Cause I joined the Seattle chapter just because that was the only one I saw. Yeah. And so, uh, there was nothing really going on. Then I met the, the gals back in Phoenix and, uh, uh, 
all of a sudden things start taking off and people are getting involved. So I'm looking forward to it. I think we're going to have a great chapter. Um, got some great leadership that's helping out. So I think we're going to have a good time. It's just a matter back when, when we were doing it back um, pre pre 2017 anyway, um, the Seattle chapter, um, they would do stuff and they would invite our, our chapter. So we, we went up there for some events. Yeah. When I get, when I, when we get a little further down the road, I pass this next event, I'm going to start reaching out to them a little more and kind of affiliating a little bit more. I like Steve came up with that idea for office hours. So when we start to see more of the chapter engage, I'm going to start reaching mm -hmm. out to Seattle to see how we can kind of reaffiliate with them as our sister chapter. Yeah. Kind of like that. So any parting thoughts before we go, before I let you run out the dough? No, not really. <laughs> not really? Okay. Well, I'm going to do with you what I do with just about everybody. Well, actually, no, I do it to everybody. I, I always ask a question. I always ask a question just because that's the kind of person I am. So I try to prepare really well with the person I have on. I think of a really good question. I do a lot of thought putting in the right question for the right person. So actually it comes down to, I stall long enough to bring a bunch of questions up like I just did and I give you the one I find. <laughs> so here's the one I found for you. Um, I asked you the emoji question, that was pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Let's see, what is, uh, now that's pretty late. I wanna ask you, what show do you remember most from your childhood? Well, my parents didn't didn't have a TV until I was about thirteen. Okay. So, um, it would be at you know, um, mid to late seventies. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Honestly, one of my favorites was Mash. Nice. I I Good was choice. so sad when they finally closed it out, but Me too. I mean, how, how, look how long it went. It went forever. Yeah, um, yeah. Alan Alda was mine, my favorite on there. They don't do TV like that anymore. And, you know, I do the same thing. I, I, I work with like with Meg and with Jasmine back in the, at the main, at the mothership. And I'm always making these pop cultural reference from like the seventies or the eighties or sometimes the nineties. And they look at me like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> <laughs> But MASH is a great show. Uh, Cheers is another great one in the late 80s. Yeah. Uh, another great one. But MASH, Alan Alda was just superb. Yep. That was just yep. a great show. Great time. Great cast. So good job. Good call. I will endorse that decision. Okay. All right. Nico, well, thanks a lot. You have a great evening. Thanks for being on with me. And I will see you soon. Okay. Thank right, you. So